Okay, I think we can get started now. Uh, so thanks everybody for joining today. Uh, this is the Telecom User Group monthly uh, call. Uh, just a reminder that this call switches between uh, more APAC friendly, which is this call, uh, which is at 11 UTC. Uh, and next month, it'll be the more US friendly time at 1500 UTC. Um, before we get started, um, I just want to quickly run through the agenda, uh, so pointing out some of the upcoming events that we have. Um, but is there anything anyone wants to add to the agenda before we jump in today? Okay. Um, I know is Wylinda Lee from China Telecom on the call today? I know she wanted to present uh, last month. Okay, uh, it doesn't seem like uh, they're they're on the call today. Um, they, even though they list they listed themselves in the attendees, so um, I guess we'll just skip that point. Um, so, upcoming events uh, that we want to point out: uh, there's the Etsy Plug Fest. Uh, in February, and the CNF test suite um, developed by the CNCF uh, will also be there to test out the cloud nativeness of uh, cloud native network functions. And so if you're planning on attending, look forward to uh, testing out how cloud native your CNF is. And then we have kind of two things coming up uh, today. Uh, or two things on the agenda for today. The first is a white paper that was originally started by Jeffrey Salins uh, around telecommunications challenges and drivers. Um, and this is something he kind of wants to move forwards on uh, in the new year. Um, and so if we look into this doc, it was originally started in 2019. Um, and kind of the goal of this white paper is to dive into kind of what is driving uh, cloud native transitions in telecommunications and also kind of what the problem statements or what the problems are as telcos try to go more cloud native. And so what we're looking for is people to contribute uh, to this um, and continue to like develop some of the ideas in here. Um, so he's kind of laid out the initial framework um, of different challenges um, and different drivers for the cloud native transition. And what he's looking for right now is people that are interested in helping write up different sections. So if anybody on the call today wants to uh, kind of like volunteer for one of the, uh, these sections, say uh, for the generic tel telco, one of the challenges when going cloud native is integration into existing systems, uh, tool sprawl, operationalizing new tech, layer two, layer three integration. Um, there's lots of different things on here. If there's anything else, uh, please feel free uh, to jump in. Does anybody have any like questions about this so far? Hello. Yeah. Hello. Uh, my name is Asis, and today is the first call I'm att attending the user group. So I would like to ask the question, the, the challenges mentioned in the document are uh, taken from the vendor perspective or it's just the user group, like they have come up with the requirements from like uh, from the ex past experiences or uh, taking the cloud native journey to uh, forward like so, yeah, so this is, yeah, absolutely. So Jeffrey Salins is at Charter Communications, so he's an operator. So I think this is focusing on the operator perspective. So okay. as service providers and operators go more cloud native, what challenges do they have? And part of it is uh, kind of understanding the hurdles that we need to get over um, and learning from uh, the NFV transition okay. too. And, uh, and the other thing, like, can we introduce more challenges or is it uh, just have to be like, we have to work on these challenges itself? Uh, like... No, no, no. Uh, you, you can absolutely add more challenges. So if you think okay. there's important ones that are missing, uh, please okay. feel free to add them. We'd love to have your contribution. Okay. 
because like uh, what i see is like in the generic telco and nfp section like these are more towards the wired infrastructure like uh, this more towards the core network side or more towards the uh, like the transport network basically it looks like that way but uh, it doesn't capture the ran specific uh, uh, like operations or uh, the what goes into ran or in or like in the more importantly the protocol stuff of like a e node b or a g node b in that sense it doesn't like that doesn't have the, those challenges listed here so okay uh is there something that specific that you want to put down in the document right now no no right now i won't put it down anything uh, i'm okay. just asking like uh, can we introduce more challenges or like can we introduce a new category of like making a ran section for the uh, for the nfb like cloud native journey for the ran also not from the just nfb perspective or the transport network or yeah so sure yeah absolutely um so do you mind if i put your name in here as like you suggested this as a section no no it doesn't matter no there's no need of any name or anything no no it, it doesn't oh, okay. matter actually. please yeah yeah okay i mean this is a common document right i mean it doesn't matter yeah yeah okay but yeah if you have more ideas or want to contribute something please feel free to flush out this section uh, i'm sure other people will start contributing it to it too okay okay thank you yeah Does anybody else have any questions on this document? Okay. Um, so if you're interested in adding more, please feel free to start contributing to the doc. Obviously anybody can uh, start writing in there. Uh, the second part, is so uh tal from red hat is uh currently sleeping uh because it's about 5 a.m for him right now in the us so i'm going to give a brief presentation of something that he's interested in talking about um so apologies tal if i if i don't do it <laughs> full justice um but so what he's interested in kind of talking about or starting up is kind of a, a group to talk about Kubernetes networking orchestration. Um, and I guess when we say uh, networking, this isn't uh, like layer seven, it's more layer two, layer three. It's it's because obviously there already are, there is already SIG networking in the CNCF and the Kubernetes uh, networking SIG, um, but those are more uh, a little bit different than what he wants to talk about in this. Um, and so, Starting, uh, I guess the, the starting point is uh, like Kubernetes networking is to bear uh, because there's really only uh, one layer three network for all the pods. Uh, one of the fundamental concepts within Kubernetes is that all pods can talk to all the pods on the local network. And you can also create services, um, but it's not um, the, the complete way to do it. And so there's currently four different parts uh, that are core to Kubernetes networking, which is the CNI uh, plugin, um, which is in charge of IPAM and internode connectivity. Kubeproxy um, allows services to have stable virtual IPs. Uh, DNS, uh, which is decoupled from IPAM. And optionally, there's also the ingress um, controller. Um, but the problem, one of the other problems is that Kubernetes has no option for multi-cluster networking. Uh, this problem is being worked on in the multi-cluster SIG, uh, but it's not a, a solved problem or has a, a known, like a really good solution yet. And the real problem, especially for this group, is that this isn't quite good enough for telcos or for network functions. Uh, th this really, this single L3 network is pretty insufficient for telco needs. Um, a lot of telcos have wishes for special types of network, including layer two, uh, hardware acceleration, WAN, RAN, and other exotic networks, let's say. Um, people have tried to kind of go around uh, these shortcomings with different uh, types of solutions like Multis, NSM, or DanM, 
But uh, the problem is, is each of these have to be configured more at like the platform level. And so there, therefore uh, deploying a network function actually begins like way, way, way before. It really starts when you're deploying the platform too, uh, because it's so, so tied to that. And so a CNF uh, can't be just packaged as a Kubernetes uh, workload um, because it's um, reliant so much on how the platform is is set up too. And so it can be challenging to orchestrate network services at scale uh, across these platforms. And so if we go back to um, uh, previously previous clouds uh, like OpenStack, one of the key focuses there was isolation and portability uh, between environments. And so the, the really big difference there is that layer three IP networks and subnets are actually resources owned by the workloads. Um, and it's actually included uh, in the platform. And so a virtual machine can connect to any number of networks uh, rather than just the, the one main one. And so uh, therefore like the networking providers uh, like Neutron actually do the heavy lifting rather than having to rely on the actual network function. And so what Tal wants to discuss is how we can kind of bridge the gap between these two systems in Kubernetes. And so uh, one idea that he had is to bring back kind of the, the portability. Um, so allowing us to move CNFs from platform to platform. And so the idea is what if a CNF could request the type of uh, network that it needed through a Kubernetes CI CRD, then the, the platform provider could know what's available and can handle the provisioning and configuration. And thus the provider can give visibility into how networking is being used uh, by the app, by the node or by the cluster. And so it, in a way to make this cloud native in declarative like automated fashion is we, they could be themselves become Kubernetes workloads. Um, but um, one of the problems is that a lot of providers would need to have privilege access to host uh, capabilities. And so one thing that Tal kind of POC um, was this project KNAP, which enables like cloud native providers for a multis. And so what Tal wants to do is set up a group that is interested in discussing uh, these problems within Kubernetes. And so what he wants to set up is a little Kubernetes networking orchestration task force. Um, and so what he's going to do is have a meeting to uh, discuss this. Uh, one of the first ideas is to have a white paper under this telecom user group to discuss kind of uh, what's missing and what should be done um, and figure out the exact configuration of this group. So uh, one idea is to have it fall under the telecom user group um, or create a new SIG within CNCF. Um, and so I, I think this is kind of like a walk, crawl, run, so it's still, uh, or sorry, crawl, walk, run. And this is still very much in the crawl phase. Uh, it's the, the initial things. Uh, this is, he's kind of stated what the problem statement is. And now the idea is to bring together a group of people that are interested in it to discuss what the potential solutions might be. So if you're interested in being more involved in this, uh, please contact Tal. Uh, his email is here. Um, and once again, <laughs> um, sorry, Tal, if I didn't do this exact justice, but um, yeah, if, if you want to know more, please feel free to reach out to Tal as he'll be kind of working on this going forwards. Are there any questions? Okay, um, that's it. Is there anything anybody else um, wants to bring up today before we, we close? Okay, um, thanks everybody for joining today. Just a reminder, the next meeting is next month on February 1st at 1500 UTC. Uh, thanks for joining today. Thanks, Bill. Thanks.
थैंक यू